If you want to compare photos or videos side by side or in a split screen view, there is a free tool from Nvidia called iCAD that does exactly that. Today I will show you how to use it. First, let's download the tool. Go to this link provided in the description box which leads to Nvidia's official website. Download it from here and then install it like any other software. After opening the tool, you can add media by clicking this button or simply dragging and dropping the files. Once you've added the videos or photos, you will see that it automatically placed one video on one side and the other on the opposite side. You can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out on the image. As you can see, I have two videos with two different resolutions, the 4K here and the Full HD here. To adjust the frame size, we will go to the gear icon of the small video and adjust the scaling to match. Since 4K has twice the resolution both horizontally and vertically compared to Full HD, we will set the scaling to 200%. You can also adjust the framing by specifying the number of pixels here. Below, you will find the clip's properties like dimensions, frame rate, and bitrate. Now close the window and you will be able to compare two videos side by side. If you want to switch to a split screen view, you can do so from the top left corner. To toggle the full screen view, press Ctrl F on the keyboard. Press escape to return to the original view. In the bottom left corner, you will find multiple options. Here, you can see the layers of the videos you're comparing, and yes, you can compare more than two videos. On the timeline, you can trim the video to specify when it starts and ends. You can also loop the video for continuous comparison, move one frame forward or backward, and adjust the playback speed. Clicking this arrow allows you to tweak some settings. For example, you can show and hide thumbnails, display a grid in various sizes, and change the scaling filtering mode. I recommend the bilinear option to eliminate jagged edges, but for a more precise comparison, stick with nearest neighbor. In the top right corner, there is a setting to allow you to adjust the exposure and gamma of your media. Though I find this feature less useful, it might be handy for you. Finally, you can export your comparison using the export button. There are three options. You can export it for web applications with embedded code. This is also great if you want to compare videos on PCs that don't have Nvidia's iCAT installed on them. The second option is choosing a frame to export for the comparison. You can choose whether you want to export the side-by-side -side comparison or the split-screen option. You can also adjust the title size for both sides. Click download to choose where to save the image, which you can view freely afterward. The third option is exporting a video. You can set the in and out points, adjust the title size, and zoom in or out to frame the image as desired. Click export to start exporting the video. The exporting process will take a while since it is with the CPU rather than the GPU. Now choose the save location. If you want to upscale videos on the go, watch this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.